Hey, I'm Shai Riddle, and I'm the VP of People here at Spiff, and I've been with the team for about two years. Spiff's product is a commission software platform that helps finance teams, sales operations teams, and sales leadership to calculate their commission data. It also gives transparency to the sales rep. And so for a sales rep that wants to know exactly what their paycheck is and remove all that guesswork and remove the spreadsheet they may be even keeping on their own, that's essentially what our platform does. I would say the biggest thing that we focus on is somebody who thinks like an owner, somebody who really has a history of being, um, whether it's an entrepreneur or somebody who is a forward thinker. Um, I think of them as activists. And so people who see a problem and they want to see that through to the end, not just somebody who wants to point out a problem, but really somebody who has a track record, whether it's as an SDR, a product manager, a software engineer, but that type of finger who sees something, wants to own it, wants to fix it, sees it through to the end. Yeah, I, I always encourage candidates to reach out on LinkedIn and they can reach out to anyone. So often I will get a Slack message during the day or I will get a LinkedIn message and it's because we've overlooked somebody or we have somebody who's been sitting in our applicant tracking system that has progressed in the process. And so I do encourage candidates to be aggressive and you can do that in a way that's incredibly professional, but in this market today, we do get a lot of applicants that come through. And so if you're somebody who has the, um, the chutzpah to reach out and to ask to have somebody follow up with you or to ask for an interview, whether that's directly with the hiring manager or the people team, I always encourage candidates to take that initiative. It's also a great experience for the candidate to be able to get an insider view um, and ask, you know, tell me about the company and get that perspective from somebody other than the recruiting and people team. Our interview process, I don't think is unique to other companies. It's a pretty standard process. Typically you have a phone screen with the recruiter. If that goes well, well and we both mutually agree, let's continue to the next step then it's a conversation with a hiring manager or a hiring committee depending on the department at spiff sometimes the hiring committee comes first or sometimes the hiring manager interview comes first if that conversation goes well you agree and we agree let's continue to the next stage that next stage is often some type of project or assignment um, for engineering and product that can often be a coding assignment or some sort of a product assessment for sales, it's often a mock call is the next stage. And then in other departments, it's oftentimes a project that might be in finance, we have you build a spreadsheet or give us an analysis of something. Even on the people team and recruiting and, and the talent team, we often will give someone an assignment or a project. And so it's really our way of seeing what type of a thinker are you? How do you solve problems? It's not a booby trap. If we've asked you to do a project, it's because we're interested and engaged and hope to move forward to that final stage, which is an offer. And so if that project goes well, and that is something where everyone agrees, hiring committee agrees, hiring manager agrees, talent team agrees, so let's move to the final step. The final step is talking through offer details. A lot of times in that final stage, a candidate will come back to me and say, I'm not done being recruited. I still wanna to talk to your team, you know, team, I still wanna engage with the hiring manager. I wanna have one more conversation, or can we grab lunch? Um, that to me is really exciting. I love when people come back and say, I'm not done being recruited and we will set up those conversations. And so if it means you want to meet with the team again, or you want to meet with a counterpart, you want to meet with maybe a peer that you'd have in the organization, we continue the, the cycle or the process until a candidate has all their questions answered. I love giving candidates an idea of how to prepare for an interview at Spiff. The, the first thing I always encourage them to do is to check out our website. We've got some really great blog posts that I think give you an idea of culturally what's important to us. There's a really cool culture doc that talks about uh, the cultural norms at Spiff, but there's also some blog posts about the team that will give you an idea of who we have on the team, the roles they play, the backgrounds they the backgrounds they've brought to Spiff. And then the writing style. I actually think that when you look at our blog post and when you read through and learn more about our product and our marketing team, it does give you a sense of culture. So it's another way of really understanding the company. 
The other thing that I would say is reaching out to people on LinkedIn. We always encourage people to do um, secret shopping is what I like to call it. Reaching out to people, whether it's within the department or within other groups and even former team members. We were very transparent in our recruiting style. And so I encourage people to do as much digging. The last one that I will share is Crunchbase. I, I do push candidates to go and look at Crunchbase, look at what we've done financially, what success we've had, and even to look at our competitors. When I'm interviewing a candidate and they've done all of that research and I really have nothing else to share, the last thing I'm sharing with them is benefits and kind of that behind the scenes stuff that maybe you can't find online. There's, I love this question about why I joined Spiff. Um, and a lot of times when I've worked for employers, I've given the pitch that feels like I'm drinking my own Kool-Aid. When I think about why someone should join Spiff, the stage that we're at and where we're growing right now in this particular sector of business, you know, FinTech and, and comp solutions or um, sales, when you think about sales efficiency tools, what Spiff is doing is really unique. And so for me, why you should join Spiff, a lot of that comes behind how engaged you want to be in your day to day. How much do you want to have that autonomy? How much do you want to help build and build a company who has some backing, who has a great investor and has the stability of having a platform built and having a product that's been validated in the market and continuing to refine, continuing to help to take you know, a solution to the next level. That's where I think this is a really great, fun, exciting stage and why someone should want to join.